Check out this yummy apple pie. Uh, the filling is homemade in the crock pot and uh, real easy and freezable and delicious. And I'm gonna show you how. This crock pot apple pie filling is really, really easy, really cheap <laughs> and really delicious. You'll need apples. Um, I do not peel the apples for this. I just cut them and core them. Uh, whether or not you peel them is up to you, but I'm, I'm all about keeping things simple. So in addition to the apples, you will need uh, some, some lemon, either a, a lemon or some lemon juice to put in there to keep the apples from turning completely brown. You'll need some cinnamon, some sugar, uh, a little bit of pumpkin spice, and uh, some water. So let's get started. So here are the apples I have uh, left over after drying many of them. I've got my crock pot ready to go. I'm going to start uh, cutting, coring and cutting the apples. I love this little thing. You push it into the apple, you get the core, and then you open it up and the, the core falls out. It's just the best. Um, I don't remember where I got it, probably Walmart or something like that. So I'm going to um, get started. The first thing I do is just cut off the top and the bottom, and those will go into my compost uh, container here to be taken to the garden later. Now I'm going to core, and that is not an exact science, but it's close enough. I take the uh, edge here, the ridged um, edge, and it goes right into the apple, and I go down to the bottom, pull it out. Oop. Well, not always perfect, not always an exact science, and let's pull it out again. There we go. And uh, left a hole in the apple, no seeds, no nothing, no pits, and then I just open this up, open it up like that, this falls out, and I'm ready for my next apple. Here's my bowl full of cored uh, apples. I'm about ready to cut them up. But to prevent them from uh, getting brown while I'm cutting them up and putting them in the crock pot, I'm going to add uh, some lemon. I'm going to have lemon ready to go. I took this out of the refrigerator a little while ago. Warm, room temperature citrus fruit is easier to juice than, than cold. So I'm just going to take these two, these two lemon halves, it's sufficient, and um, just juice them a little bit. So I have a little bit of lemon juice to put on the lemons as they go into the crock pot. I like to cut the apples up into sort of bite-sized pieces. So I cut them in half first so you have that flat surface to put the apple on. And then maybe a cut like this and a couple cuts like this. So I have managed to fill up the crock pot. I mix it up a little bit to make sure that the um, Lemon juice was fairly well incorporated. Things are still turning a little brown, but it doesn't matter. They're all gonna cook up anyway. So first thing with this amount of apples, I'm gonna go ahead and put in about half a cup of water. Last time I made this, I had about half this amount of, of apples and I put in a quarter cup of water. I'm gonna put in, I don't know how much. Let me get a teaspoon and maybe figure this out. All right, I'm gonna put in, let's start with a teaspoon cinnamon, maybe another half a teaspoon of cinnamon, and I'm going to put in a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Of course, this teaspoon doesn't fit in the container, so we're going to have to just go like this. And I'm going to go ahead and kind of mix it up, get it all coated. If you don't get it all coated, don't worry about it. As the um, apples kind of melt down, be easier to stir them and the, the spices start to mix a little bit so that's good enough for now and I'm going to put in a scoop of sugar I don't know what this is the equivalent of, uh, to um, maybe half a cup and I'm going to mix it up too and what I've done is after I've finished this um, and it's cooked you can always taste it and if it needs more cinnamon, it needs more sugar, whatever, you can add it. The type of apple you use, too, will determine sometimes how sweet it is, plus your own taste. All right, that's good enough. I'm going to put the lid on it and put it on high and come back when it is fork tender, probably at least two hours. As they uh, 
are just right. They smell delicious and they've of course uh, shrunk a little bit with cooking. What I'm going to do is let them cool. I put them in bags later. I can make a pie right now with some of them or freeze them. I like to have, uh, I put like a cup and a half per bag. A cup and a half is enough for a little tiny pie like the one I made for uh, Eddie earlier. It's about four pieces. So I made it in a small cast iron frying pan. Maybe three cups of this for a larger pie, but you'll figure out your rhythm. As you can see, it didn't um, hurt to leave the uh, peels on. They stayed on just fine, and as I say, the whole thing smells great. When it cools, I will um, give it a try and see if it needs any flavor adjustments with cinnamon and with sugar. So there it is, quick and easy. Well, maybe not that quick, but very, very easy. Thank you so much for watching.